Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Sites, and today I'm about to teach y'all how to track them faces and also using the camera to, you know, transition in and out of that face track. You feel what I'm saying? You don't have to be in Premiere Pro for this. I'm about to just take this clip over to After Effects, and that's where this tutorial starts. Let's get it. When you get into After Effects, you want to find an area that really doesn't move like that you know there's a lot of places in, on his body that doesn't move but me i always choose the nose you feel what i'm saying so i'm gonna pre-compose this clip you feel me before i even track this you know why because in case i, I want to do any tracking or any vfx anything cool with this i'm gonna be able to do it in my pre-composed version of this clip you feel me so you know if you're really trying to get saucy start pre-composing before you even do anything pertaining moving the camera or to any face tracking anything like that so boom kind of pre-compose feel me move all attributes feel me and then we're gonna get right let's right click let's stabilize track motion and when we get in here you're already going to see one point but don't touch nothing yet come down to the tracker and you're going to hit stabilize motion you can manually do this or you know you can uh do this with the uh auto track but i like to start it off with an auto track so it starts grabbing keyframes you feel what i'm saying you see it's messing up so i'm gonna keep putting my point on his nose on the tip of his nose so you could do one frame at a time you can do three frames at a time or five frames at a time. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to hit edit target. I'm not going to choose anything. I'm just going to press OK. And then I'm going to apply. So now you want to highlight your layer, make a camera above your layer. Make sure you have your 3D and your motion blur box checked. Now you want to come up to transform and we're going to do the same thing we did in the last tutorial. We're going to hit the stopwatch on the point of interest in the position i'm gonna make a keyframe at the beginning and then towards the middle of it we're gonna zoom in hit f9 on those keys it's easy ease this bad boy in there and then we could do things like make two more keyframes all right and we could just reset and it might be out of frame just a little bit, so you can do things like zoom in just a tad bit. Oops. Zoom in just a little bit, right? He center it. F9 on the key. Uh -oh. And then we could just keyframe this out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, y'all straight. So, you know, I did have you guys pre-comp. So just know if you really want, if you really want to do anything inside of here, it's really up to you what you want to do. You know, you could duplicate him. You could rotoscope him. You could do all kind of stuff. You feel what I'm saying? You could track the scene. I just don't know how many people like move with this, uh, this workflow. You feel me? If you didn't know about this, now you do. If you did know about it good for you you feel what i'm saying but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this and i'm definitely gonna be back with another tutorial tomorrow feel me much love y'all be easy have a good night